Hey guys, my name is Bharat and I'm the creator of Bharat in Germany. Welcome to this video. This is going to be a super detailed one where Vishal kind of like lays out his experience of studying in a student college. How do you get there and what kind of different kind of processes are involved in it and around it. Definitely take a look, share it with your friends because I know student college is one of the parts still where like students are so unsure about because of the entire Aufnahme thing and then the conditional admit then coming to Germany, writing the exams and then starting their bachelors. It sounds like a lot and I totally understand that. But I thought like maybe hearing it from somebody who has actually gone through the process, who has studied the student colleague and has now written the FSP, maybe helps you a bit better. Because again, like I personally find it like a lot more relatable to see somebody go through the process and then follow them because it just gives you that motivation that yes, if this person has done it, then I can do it too. If you have some kind of admission requirements, questions and stuff, I will link down a free PDF which you can download and go through in case you have any kind of questions whatsoever. Now, otherwise, whatever questions you still have from this video, you can write it down in the comments and Vishal and I, we will try our best to respond to them. So now I will let Vishal take over in this video. Hello guys, it is Vishal here. So you might know me from a day in my life video that was uploaded in this channel a few weeks back. If you guys haven't seen that yet, please go and check it out. So a short overview on myself, I'm a 19 year old student who has just finished his FSP in Student College Nordhausen. So in this video, we are going to be talking about some of the basic processes for applying to Student College, what are the admission requirements, and also a short overview on Aufnahme Prüfung and Festivals Prüfung. So let's get started. about student college so what is student college so student college is basically a two semesters course that you take before starting your bachelor studies here in Germany so there are many different ways to start your bachelor studies here in Germany but student college is one of them and according to my knowledge the most efficient and best way to do so so depending on what kind of bachelor course you're choosing you have to go for different types of student college so we have different courses T course M course G course W course and S course you have to go for one of these courses and before going to student college you have to write something called as the Aufnahme Prüfung. So basically before all of those things what are the admission requirements for student college? So the admission requirements for student college are your 12th grade certificate and a German Goethe Bay 1 or Bay 2 depending on what student college you are going. So how do we find the student college? So for finding a student college we have an amazing website called studentcollege.de. This website has almost all the basic information regarding student college, the different types of it, the expected cost in each student college, and also a list of all the major public student colleges. And it also has the classification whether the student college is a university student college or whether the student college is a Fakok student college. And it also has the associated links for it. So it's highly recommended that students have a good look at this website. So now let's talk about different types of student colleagues. So we have two different types of student colleagues. You have university student colleague and we have a functional student colleague. So if you do your student colleague course in a university student colleague, it means that you can get into both a TU university and a Hochschule or a Fachhochschule. But if you do your student colleague course in a Fachhochschule student colleague, it means that you can only do your bachelor studies in Fachhochschule and not in TU University. So we now also have another major classification of student colleagues, public student colleagues and private student colleagues. Majority of the student colleagues here in Germany are public, but nowadays we are also having a number of private student colleagues. Private student colleagues offer you the advantages like getting to them easier, the German qualification requirement is very less, sometimes A2 or A1, but you have to pay a pretty large fee of 3000, in some cases 8000 or 9000 euros. So when we compare this to public student colleagues, public student colleagues are almost free. You only have to pay a semester contribution that varies from 150 to 400 euros. But that's it. And public student colleagues also have many other advantages like their FSP certificate. FSP is the examination that you write at the end of the student college is more widely recognized and the quality of education in public student colleagues can be very much assured but this does not apply for private student colleagues so i would recommend almost all the students who are trying to get into student college only to aim for public student colleagues please don't consider private student colleagues so now let's say that your preferred bachelor course here in germany is in english so you'll be thinking about getting into an english student college but that's absolutely not necessary so majority of the bachelor courses here in germany they accept the fsp from a normal student college and the English qualification like IELTS or TOEFL. Even in some cases, if you have done like 12 years of schooling in English, 
a certificate from your school proving that it's accepted by some universities. So how do you apply for the student college? So basically you can't directly apply for the student college. Rather you have to apply for your preferred course in a preferred university through UniAssist or through your university portal and the university will go through your qualifications and decide that you need to do two semesters of student college and they will give you something called as the conditional admission. So this conditional admission is very much important. Sometimes this conditional admission might also contain the invitation to the ophthalmic proof room, the exam you write to get into student college along with them, sometimes it doesn't. In case it doesn't, then you have to contact the student colleague yourselves and talk to them about the ophthalmic proof room. It doesn't mean that you can contact any student colleague across Germany. It usually refers to the student colleagues in the same state as the university. So after you get your conditional admission and your invitation to ophthalmic proof room, you have to apply for visa. In this case, for students who are writing for ophthalmic proof room, it is national visa. The required documents for this visa can be found in their respective websites. So guys, now let's talk about Ofname Proofung. So Ofname Proofung mainly consists of two subjects, Deutsch, German and Mathematics in case of Engineering Sciences. So as far as Deutsch is concerned, even though the student colleague might say that Bayeins or Bezwei is their minimum qualification requirement, I would suggest almost all the students to aim for a minimum qualification of Bezwei. The recommended sweet spot will be both they say Eins or test stuff because at this level you have a very big advantage over other students. The main reason for that is because the Ofname Proofung has become more and more competitive over years. Many students are waiting a semester, many students are learning their German here in Germany, so their German tends to be better. So when you are able to achieve a level of say Eins, you are absolutely in the safer side. Again, it is it is not like that, it is impossible with Bay Eins, but Bates is recommended and as far as mathematics is concerned I would say to go through from CBSE class 10 to class 12 mathematics again this varies from student college to student college but this is the overall view of that almost every student college will have their own sample papers in their respective websites please go and check it out that's very much important you'll also have a list of topics that might come so in our family proofing and you'll be right, there'll be about 700 to 1,100 students writing for the Alpha proofing in the same student college, and the number of seats available will be varying from 150 to 300, and all these seats are not available for each semesters. There will be some reservations, there will be some students repeating their semesters. So, you, so it is very much impossible to know the number of seats available beforehand. So in these places, it is very much important that you train hard and give your best. And I recommend almost all students to just apply for more than two student colleagues. You can't just depend on one student colleague, two or three is the best. And plan these things much earlier ahead, six or seven months earlier ahead so that you don't miss any detail at the last moment. And, and also to make sure that you get your visa processing done on time because these autonomy proof are mostly spread across months sometimes they can also be in the same day sometimes across months so you have to plan your stay here in Germany according to that in my case I had to miss two autonomy proof because my visa processing was not finished in time so here is a short overview of FSP FSP Festivalungsprüfung is the examination that you write at the end of two semesters of your student college. At the end, you'll be receiving the certificate, FSP certificate, which is very much important for your bachelor admission. So you have to apply to universities with the help of this FSP certificate and your conditional admission and your 12th grade certificate or your some cases VPD. So with the way the university evaluates your mark is they take 50% of your FSP and 50% of your 12th grade mark and add it together. But in many cases, I've also observed that a higher weightage is being given to the FSP. So as many of you guys were interested in this entire student loan process, Bharat has also asked me to talk about that in this video. So I went through the entire student loan process, but at the very end, due to some personal reasons, we decided not to take it. So this is how it went. First, you need to explain the bank manager about the entire studies. So this is where the tricky part. This is because you have to explain about the conditional admissions, you have to explain about the Ofname Proofung and you also have to explain that only after writing the Ofname Proofung getting selected will start your student college. Many times the bank manager can take a while before they understand this because it is something completely new to them and it's and not many students do it in such a way but it all comes down to the way you're explaining. The documents I provided are the blocked account money 10,236 euros that was listed in the DAPS website and I also provided the split up of this money for food, 
for gross lease for rent and so on and so forth and i also provided documents like my conditional admissions and uh, my invitation to autonomy proof home both the original ones and also the translated ones so those are the documents i provided but i should say that the entire process took such a long time one or two months in case of mine so as a student you have to do a lot many number of processes before getting to student college so first you have to learn your german up to bits why or say eins you have to find and shortlist a student college and the universities you have to contact the universities and clarify any doubts you have you have to do the visa process and in some cases you guys also have to do the student loan depending on your situation so you have to do a lot many number of stuff and this has to be done within a very tight time frame this applies specifically to students who are wishing to start their student college course right after 12th standard in those cases the time frame available to you is less than 3 or 4 months but everything is possible there's absolutely no need for consultancy all you need is a bit of patience and research everything can be found online and added to this fact that you're leaving the comfort of your parents at quite a young age can make you anxious guys just look at the brighter side of things you'll be learning new things you'll be appreciating many things that you took for granted back at your home and you'll be meeting new people building relationships you'll be getting to know new cultures gaining respect for them and there will be many opportunities for you to develop yourself professionally and personally at the end of the day it might seem hard but many years or months down the lane you will look back at this moment and appreciate the fact that you have taken the road less taken So guys that's the end of my video I hope you guys found the video informative please do go and check out Bharat in Germany's channel for many other such videos hope you guys love the video peace Well that was a super interesting video I absolutely love the way he kind of laid out everything and also like his experiences of like public student colleagues and private ones studentcolleagues.de this is a very important website and also one that i actually recommend in my course what you can also do is for example you can also take a look at the normal foundation year programs but the issue with that is that most of them are from private universities so you have to see like you know if you have the funds or not for that this is the part that you have to then figure out on your own so don't worry even if you want to study bachelor's in germany it is definitely doable vishal did it so can you my parents did not agree at the time when i wanted to do the bachelor's in germany because they were like still unsure because there was no information available right but right now you have bharat in germany this entire like knowledge database which is there in front of you which you can refer to and there are so many motivated students who are willing to help you out not having the information or not seeing somebody who has gone through the process shouldn't be an excuse for you i know a lot of people are having questions because of this lockdown what should we do what will happen and everything i will address all of that in another video go through the links that vishal shared in this video and write down your questions share it with your friends super important and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on similar high quality videos like these so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next one bye